guys, here is uh, Zeta Fire for uh, Cinema 4D and today we are taking a look to a new tutorial. This because in uh, this day different people ask me how to create a, a complex shader in Arnold Render and how, how to use the Arnold Notes and uh, okay, a few days ago I uploaded this video here to show you what uh, will going to do today so this is a very quickly time lapse about my latest work a simple snail with some particular effects and today we are taking a look about these effects so okay but uh, before starting i want to introduce you my latest work my a quickly sneak peek about uh, my latest uh, shader pack totally free for Arnold Render made in uh, Cinema 4D and this time is I think I have made uh, a great job because I have fixed all uh, texture problem I have created new notes I rigged the shader so it, it's, uh, it's more simple to use more faster and uh, more quickly okay I want to show you a quickly, a quickly sneak peek, okay? No, sorry, it's not this one. Okay, it's here, okay. Okay, this is this was a quickly sneak peek, but now let's go to cinema and just start to work. Okay, this is my scene, this is my work, okay, and uh, here I have my snail with enough subdivision, and this is a simple sculpt of the body of the snail, and this is the, the shell. Okay, let's start creating a simple standard. Uh, material okay and uh, open the network shader rename you oh sorry uh, if you don't use the IPR please disable this one this because it use about of energy of your uh, CPU and your RAM so okay uh, rename this one uh, a shell Okay, and okay, just starting importing uh, to image the texture of my snail. Okay, here I have my snail, uh, the texture. Okay, I have the, this is the normal map and this is the diffuse. Okay, uh, connected the color in the color diffuse and create a new normal map to link the normal map okay so connect this one to the beauty and the normal map to the normal map and this one as the shader okay very good okay and uh, just add some uh, reflection of in our shell uh, maybe it's too much uh, 0, 0. 0.9 okay and now what I want to create is create some scratches and some details around uh, on the top of the shell so to do this we need to create some alpha map uh, and okay so you can upload any type of alpha map you want for example here i have different uh, alpha map i have some flower some leaf and i can upload uh, this one and uh, i can uh, also okay this one it's perfect this because we have an uh, some scratches here and we need to create a 
layer color okay and rename this one I want to rename this one alpha switcher this because I want to switch between the alpha map okay and okay maybe I can change the color so in this way I know that is the alpha switcher and connect the alpha switcher to the uh, specular weight okay very good and connect in the alpha switcher the alpha image okay in the uh, layer one and the second layer okay layer two okay and for uh, now I want to give okay this one the maximum value okay and this is what we'll have now so if if we apply the material this is what we have now and uh, okay it looks like very great and if you want to give some more details and depth of your your image i can suggest you to activate the uh, parameter here and uh, activate this one okay so type this value here 0 0.1 okay and uh, okay and now I want to apply the depth of the specular details so go here and create a ramp map okay ramp rgb and just uh, change the color into a black and white okay and connect this one to the and connect this one here to the alpha switcher okay and, and this one here okay very good and uh, now just connect in the output node to the Arnold displacement and puff we have a uh, bumpy details only where we have uploaded the alpha map okay so here where is uh, white silver white we need to we'll start to see more detail and more depth okay and now it looks like very great but i want to create the opposite effect so i give a negative value here for example and negative 0 0.5 and we need to see some black hole and we need to see great scratch here and okay I can just zoom in a little bit more okay we can see the scratch inside the shell and it looks like very good and uh, we can change the color of our specular because I don't like what mm, because it's uh, a little bit uh, dark, a little bit white, a little bit silver so uh, just change the color of our specular we can change the color here for example or we can make something more cool for example I can create another standard material here and I turn off the diffuse uh, okay the specular is off I, I can uh, create some glow effect for example and I give this color here for example and I give here a scale of 5 and I connect this one to the color to the color uh, specular okay and this is what we have now here we have a very stunning effects of our 
snail because it looks like it starts to smash it and uh, open uh, from the inside and uh, pull out uh, and, and blow out some blue energy and it looks like very good uh, we can also apply some uh, some color correction of in our snail because uh, I think that it's too brown and I want maybe more clear so color color correct and connect this one to the uh, okay connect this one the diffuse of our map here to the color correct and I reconnect the color correct to the color diffuse and just change this value here for example I can make some dark very good okay and maybe I can turn off a little bit more the reflection because I think it's too bright it's too much and uh, okay something like this 0 0.03 okay and it looks like very good but we can also create the opposite effect 0 0.5 here and this is what oops sorry 0 0.5 no, not 50 okay come on okay and this is what we have here okay but previously I have uploaded two image this because if I want I can change here the intensity of my map okay and this time we, we can see at the same time with uh, all alpha texture okay for example I turn off this first value the the second value and I I check the first okay and uh, this is what we have this is a leaf it's all around here okay but maybe I can scale this one uh, okay here maybe I can make uh, 9 here 9 here okay maybe again because it's too much um, okay and if we zoom in we can see the um, image here of our leaf okay and uh, maybe I can just okay okay very good okay this is our leaf they are stretched this because they are following the specular map okay and uh, and this is was uh, our snail and it looks like uh, very particular <laughs> and uh, I liked them and bo I can also change with another texture here and here I have my okay this one it it looks like very good and okay here I have a simple uh, render here and it looks like very good and I hope that this first part of this um, tutorial about creating a complex shader was uh, helpful for you and um, if you have some questions and uh, some uh, mm, 
some dubs or if you think uh, if you don't understand something please uh, feel free to write me or post some comment and uh, I'll try to explain uh, as well uh, uh, anything uh, anything you want okay and this is was uh, Zeta file for uh, Arnold Wender I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and okay thanks for watching and see you see you again